Christopher, in 2011, Sunny Aminu Dutsina ran for presidential elections for the PDP party contested against Atiko Abubakar. Unfortunately, the party chose uh, President Jonathan. Unfortunately, of course, perhaps for him. He's now the managing director of the Islamic Banking and Finance Institute, and he joins us on the line from Abuja. Uh, Sunny, thanks for your time. I said, unfortunately, because I was trying to sympathize with you. Now, you were watching this from the sidelines. What are your observations so far? Well, I, I think I'm extremely impressed with the turnout. It's not only, it's not like the 2011. Uh, like from this side of the country, Katsina, which is uh, far north, uh, it is highly impressive. The, the turnout is very, very large, uh, both from the villages and the local government areas and then the headquarters. I, I think the, the turnout is extremely good. Mm. So the turnout is extremely good. What about the process of accrediting them and getting them to vote? What have you seen so far? Most of the, almost, almost I can say most, if not all the areas have been accredited. Now the voting is going on in most of the areas. I, 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 I know I have doubt that I have. I am in contact with most of the city uh, wards and areas, and then they have said all the accreditation has been over, and then now they are voting on the voting process. Mm. If you were a candidate and the results of this election came through showing you losing, would you accept the result as a credible process? I think I would. I, the way I see it and the way I see INEC as doing it, I think I, there is no doubt. From what I see on this side of the, the country, I think I will accept it as a credible process. Yeah. I, I think this, this card reader, uh, something, I think it has had extreme credibility to the system. And I, I think I said kudos to, the, uh, to INEC. I think it's an excellent thing. Yeah. Do you see potentially yourself coming back and contesting again, given the credibility of the system and process? I, I doubt very much. When we contested, we contested against a system. What we want is a, pro, a system that will give each and every individual opportunity. Mm. The other time, Jonathan was not supposed to contest. I was in the PDP, and there was an agreement that Jonathan, the northern Nigeria and southern Nigeria, there should be a rotation of the presidential uh, seat. Now, Jonathan jumped the gun and said that he was going to contest simply because he was on that seat. And that was what uh, prompted us into contesting and went to the court mm -hmm. and challenged the system with the, uh, against the PDP, uh, which I think the court but it was simple, that zoning was persistent and, uh, and, and, and it was, was binding on PDP. Mm -hmm. Despite that, uh, I think it's not the question of contesting or not. It's the system. We want yeah. a system in this country. Each and every individual should have the right, and the system will guarantee you a free and fair uh, uh, contest. Yeah. Yes. Let me ask you a difficult question, but perhaps it's an easy question for you. Yes. Now, we've got the two main candidates, uh, President yes. Jonathan as well as uh, General <laughs> Mohammed Buhari. Comments yes. that we have heard from analysts are that both men, when you look at President Jonathan, has had six years, and some people are saying he has not effected enough change in the opportunity that he has been given. And then people yes. look at General Buhari and they say, well, he had his opportunity in the past and he came out as a dictator. Therefore, yes. none of the two gentlemen are stronger candidates. Would you think uh, that you would stand a good chance if you stood against either of them? You see, to me, it's not, it's, not, it's not the form of government that matters, the essence of government. Okay. Now, Janessa woefully, woefully has failed to, to infect on the essence of government. Now, in a system whereby people are dying in hundreds and thousands of people are dying, and the president seems to be nonchalant, seems to be, I don't care, they let them kill themselves. Now, Beyonce has not, I mean... Anybody contesting against Jonathan, not only Buhari, anybody mm. contesting against Jonathan in this material time, I'm 100% sure I will beat Jonathan. That is, I know, that I know for sure. Now, <laughs> the, the popularity of Buhari is not because Buhari is being loved so much. Yeah. It's because Jonathan is being hated so much. Yeah. That's what brought up the, the, the popularity of Buhari. Sexually, Buhari was a dictator when during his time. Yeah. But now I have, I have every, every uh, sense of responsibility to believe that Buhari has become now a Democrat. Yeah. He contested three times. Or, or three times. Yeah. He lost three times. And these three times he has go through the process of democracy to go to the court to do the process okay. of court from the lower court up to the supreme court of the organization yeah. nothing somebody can do better than this to express that he is now a democrat yeah. as somebody that's uh, for, uh, rule of law yeah. now if you look at the system now now a president like like, like Jonathan that has taken this country almost like five fifteen years backward i think he doesn't stand a chance against any individual in this country nobody Believe me honestly.
Okay, I guess I'm not going to ask you who's going to win this election. Let's leave it there. Sunny Amin yeah. Dutsina is the CEO of the Islamic Banking and uh, Finance Institute. Thank